Adina, the whole area of aesthetics is part of art. But as a neuroscientist and philosopher, can we make progress in understanding aesthetics from a neuroscience point of view? And if we do that, do we somehow undermine the, the artness of it? So I think we can make progress in certain ways. I think we can understand why we have certain reactions to things. Um, you know, I, I think that may, maybe not neuroscience, well, in some ways neuroscientifically, I mean, there are certain limits to our visual system. There are certain ways in which the system works. Uh, and um, it's conceivable that, that, for instance, maybe we'll understand why certain kinds of uh, musical organization is pleasing and other is not in terms of differences in the effects on our nervous system. That's possible. I don't think that we can get rid of the value in that way. I mean, I, I, I think that the science gives us descriptive power. It doesn't give us uh, normative power. So, um, you know, we can understand better why we have certain reactions, but I don't think that uh, the value comes from understanding that. I think the value is you know, inherent in our response to certain kinds of things. Well, it's a, and, in our response, though, our response is, is, a, is a neurological response. That's right. Uh, but So in principle, cannot you take all artistic experience and, and analyze it in terms of neuroscience, in principle, in some ultimate future? Uh, I, I would think that in principle you could describe and maybe explain why we have certain kinds of reactions to certain kinds of things, um, but I don't think that that would necessarily um, preclude the possibility of a different kind of organism having reactions to other things. I mean, I think that we see that, that, you know, my dog thinks some kinds of smells are beautiful <laughs> that I just don't. <laughs> and I just think that plays up the relationality of uh, aesthetics, but I don't think it undermines it because we are the beings we are. And uh, the fact that we have certain kinds of relatively predictable reactions to things is, I think, tied in to, to the kinds of beings that we are. Um, there are certainly but, cultural differences in terms sure. of music and art, but all related to the same nervous system. Right. It doesn't exhaust it in the sense that uh, not everything can be explained by sort of the generic nature of us, but, but you know, we are ourselves affected by the cultures and experiences that, that we encounter. and. So those effects have some kind of biological basis as well. Uh, so if we really knew everything, maybe we could. Uh, but still, I think it doesn't uh, somehow reduce or undermine the value of aesthetic experience. Uh, in, in terms of um, uh, the, the reduction, and explaining it, uh, why would that r either reduce the value or not reduce the value? Uh, if you're just explaining, I mean, we, we have an emotional response to it, some things you like, and different people have different, uh, different views. Uh, th those differences can, can be or cannot be explained, ultimately. The fact that you I, and I would look at a, hear a different piece of music and like one better than the other. My guess is that if you, um, well, actually, I'm not sure that I want to come down on that. I mean, I, I think there are some kind of universal things that might be, uh, when I say explained, I mean that there's going to be a correlation between certain kinds of stimuli and certain kinds of responses. Uh, but I don't think that you that the value or the pleasure itself mm. is explained by that, right? There's something, there's some effect of consciousness that, you know, unless you have the answer to that question, you're not gonna really be able to, to get to the bottom of it. Um, but what I don't think is that by 
approaching things from a neuroscientific or at all, you know, in general scientific perspective, you somehow devalue uh, what you thought was prior, you know, previously valuable. Um, so I don't think that understanding why we enjoy the beauty of a sunset would make sunsets no longer worth enjoying, mm -hmm. right? So I, I don't agree with the, you know, demystification somehow is a devaluation idea. Um, you know, Paul Churchland famously argues that, you know, no, if I understand why my brain is, you yeah. know, the way my brain is working when I have this great experience, it should just augment my uh, wonder yeah. at the universe, right? And I'm pretty sympathetic to that point of view. Uh, but I, I also think, you know, there are different ways, uh, different perspectives, different languages for uh, approaching things and they don't have to be displaced. You know, we can look at things from a variety of perspectives. We don't have to choose one at the expense of everything else.